So now that we've finally gotten a lot of the interface stuff out of the way, let's start learning how to animate our footage and manipulate some of the properties of it. So in our timeline, we're going to come over to our layer and to the left of the layer name, we're going to see this little drop down arrow. We're going to click on that and then click on the drop down arrow for transform. And in here, we'll see all the basic transform properties that for the most part, every layer in After Effects has. So we have anchor point, position, scale, rotation, and opacity. And if you're coming from Vegas, you know a lot of this will be equivalent to the track motion feature in Vegas. And we can start manipulating these right away if we want to. So scale, and scale it in and out, position, etc., etc. And a nice feature After Effects has is we can do this all within the viewport. So if we want to scale it around, we can just click and drag the footage. We can scale it in and out. We can hold shift to maintain the aspect ratio. Uh, we can even rotate if we want. So if we press the W key, that'll toggle the rotation tool. Press V to get our cursor back. So you can do all this within the viewport, or you can just use these in the timeline down here. And if we ever want to reset these values to their defaults, we can just click on this reset text right here. So how do we start animating these? Well, to animate them, we'll just click on the stopwatch for any of these properties, and this will create a keyframe and enable automatic keyframing on that property. So right now we set a keyframe for scale at 100%. And if we scrub down in the timeline, we can scale that down set our work area play that back what? 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 so you can see that's just a basic scale animation and if we want to remove our keyframes or just turn off keyframing for that property entirely we can just click on the stopwatch again and that'll remove all of them for us so there's a few other ways we can change these transform properties so one way is just by typing in the value so let's say we want this to be 25 we can just click on it type in 25. Another unique feature is we can also do math in these. So let's say we want the multiply 25 times 3. We can just click on it and then type in times 3. There we go, 75%. So you can do any kind of addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, any sort of combination of those to change these values. And also when you're manipulating these values by like dragging them, if you hold control, that'll change the value more precisely and if you hold shift that'll change it more drastically or more fast. And one minor thing to note is if we select the property name it's going to select all the keyframes that we've created on that property and so if we adjust the value while that's selected to let's let's just say we type in zero it's going to set all those keyframes to zero. And likewise, if we undo that and like increase the value, it's going to increase the value for all those keyframes as well. And also just to make note of it, After Effects has this shortcut that'll let you advance to the previous and next keyframe, which are the J and K keys. So if we create another keyframe here, and here, we can just advance to the next and previous one, just like that. So that covers keyframing of properties, but now let's talk about how we can modify the easing of those keyframes. So in Vegas, you might know that there's only a limited amount of easing types you can choose from, like linear, fast, smooth, a few other ones. In After Effects, you aren't given any of those presets, but you have the control to go beyond what those presets Vegas provides do. So what do I mean by that? So let me just clean this up a little bit. We're just going to delete those keyframes. We're going to leave that at 100. Set that to 0. And actually, let's reverse those values really quick. So an easy way to do that is by left-click dragging. Right-click on a keyframe. Go to Keyframe Assistant and Time Reverse Keyframes. And as you can see, that essentially just flipped the keyframes in time. So now this is 100 and this is 0. So now to talk about custom easing, we're going to talk about the graph editor. So to open the graph editor, we just click on this icon right here. And in here, we'll see our scale animation. So right here, you can see it goes from 0 all the way up to 100. 
And if for some reason your graph doesn't look like this, make sure you have scale selected over here on the left. So it might be empty for you. Just click on scale or whatever property you have animated and then it'll show up here. And if your graph still doesn't look like this, right click and check if you have value graph enabled. You might have speed graph enabled, which would look like this, which was originally the only graph After Effects has. So this is like the old graph and value graph is the new one that you should be using. So right now we just have a linear animation, which is pretty boring on its own. So if we want to change the curve of this animation, what we can do is click on this button in the bottom right, easy ease. And then that will automatically ease our animation. So if we play this back, you see it kind of has like a slow start and a slow end, but in the middle it's kind of like faster. But we can just change this easing however we want by dragging these Bezier curve handles for our keyframes. So let's say we wanted to make it like pop in really fast and then slow down near the end. So to do something like that, let's just take the first Bezier handle, drag that up like this, and then drag this to the left. And if you want to keep this Bezier handle straight, you can just hold the shift key and that'll lock it to maintaining that same height. So let's just drag that over there and increase our work area a little bit and we'll just play that back. So you can see already we have an a lot more interesting animation than just a boring linear scale up animation. And we can experiment with this really quickly. So let's just say we wanted to try something like this, see how this looks. Hours. Play it back. Hours. See, that might be something. We can, let's say, do something like this. So you can see it's just really easy to iterate and see what might work well. Maintaining within like the same values, we can add like overshoot to this animation. So let's just do an example of that really quickly. So I'll just set another keyframe over here. And then on this handle, I'll drag this up, drag that down, do something like this. Drag that over. See how that looks. Hours. What? Hours. What? And of course we can clean this up and make it look a little better, but what? it's still pretty good for how fast we did what? that. A few more notes about keyframe easing. Uh, let's just delete these keyframes really quick. And we'll create two more. Just change the values. Another way we can enable the Bezier curve handles is just by hitting F9. And you can manipulate these Bezier curve handles for mostly any property in After Effects. One property that doesn't give you these handles when you enable Bezier interpolation is the position property. So if we just create a new keyframe on position, change the Y value, select these and hit F9, you'll see that create a little curve in it, but it doesn't give us the handles to manipulate that. If we want those handles for position, what we have to do is right click on position and click on separate dimensions. And so if we close the graph editor really quick, you'll see that split the keyframes that we had previously on just one position property to on a separate X and Y property. And one thing to make note is it will maintain all the values you input before you click on separate dimensions, but any kind of easing you had before, it's going to remove it and it's just going to be a linear animation. But if we click on Y position, click on our keyframes and hit F9, then we'll get the handles and we can manipulate this however we want to now. Let's turn off scale really quick so we can see that. In action. Hours. What? So this easing may seem a little complicated at first, but as you play around with it, you'll get really used to it and it'll just start coming natural to you. And you should definitely be able to see the potential in this from Vegas, which just has those easing presets. Where this, you can manipulate those however you want for really any property. So to end this tutorial, I'm just gonna show you how to make a really quick animation with this footage I have right here. 
So we're just going to close the graph editor, delete these keyframes I have, reset the transform properties. And let's see, we'll just have this footage slide in from the left. We'll ease that, come into the graph editor. We can add some rotation. We'll just have that like flip in. Ease that as well. And play that back. What? Hours? What? So that really about covers it for keyframing and manipulating your keyframes with the graph editor. So in the next tutorial, we're going to learn about how to add effects to our footage and what possibilities that opens up for us.